Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Uh, I got the 19-inch water bobber out here at the park pond. Just did some uh, some some modifications to it, put some trim tabs on there, and uh, new motor. Got a 4,000 kV motor in it. Just gonna try to get it tuned in. Uh, so stick around, Big B. What I play. Unfortunately, my GPS isn't working at the moment. It's dead. So we're just gonna run this boat. Just trying to get 50 out of it. <laughs> Got a new prop coming for this boat. putting some uh, quite a bit of down trim on it just to see what it does you know just to see what it does here just to see what it does it's pushing it down Oh wow, so it did help. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Her got her tuned good. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, she don't like bump. She don't like little wakes. <laughs> Definitely running better than it used to. Definitely don't like a weight. Any little ripple it hits, it's gone. Ice breeze. Yep, you see how good it ran? You see how good it ran when it was nice and calm? All right, so let's do it again.
We interrupt this regularly scheduled program to bring you guys a real quick mail day. Uh, this is from Ryan Frere, a.k.a. Mad Lizard. All right. Uh, this is his uh, website, madlizardproducts.com. Okay. Um, man, he's got some really, really nice upgrade parts for a lot of ready-to-run boats that are on the market right now. He's got a lot of things for the Sonic Wake. Uh you know, and, and the recoil, he's got like a trim tab, turn fin, bolt, bolt on. I think he's working on that. But, um, man, he sent me some stuff previous, and uh, I've actually enjoyed all of his products. Like the turn fin for the UL-19, it was a game changer for me. So you guys go check out Mad Lizard, all right? Uh, he's a small small company he's just getting started and, and i'm actually enjoying watching his progression you know he just got his website built and uh kudos to you man i'm proud of you brother proud of you man need more uh need more guys like that in the hobby um speaking of stickers i'm actually working on mine at, as we speak so uh, i got some more stickers here okay so um this it, oh i like the packaging that's nice so these are actually a set of turn fins that he's he's making okay uh stainless steel cnc cut turn fins for the sonic wake he actually sent two sets of sonic wake turn fins and um i appreciate it man uh I may not put these on right away because I'm actually I actually like the turn fins I have on my boat. I got an upgraded set, but I definitely will put them on, and we're going to give them a you know a test. So um, you know they got a nice edge on them, adjustable. They bolt right onto your stock turn fin bracket. Okay, um, and this 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 I needed this because I'm I'm about to start my. UL19 build. I, I know I just finished <laughs> finished it up, but uh, I've got an Oxtine Marine 200 coming for the UL19 with a 4082 uh, brushless motor, and this is a ride height gauge right here. It's got, you know, 19 millimeters, 18, 19, 20, 21, and it's stepped up. You actually slide this under the boat, under the tunnel of your boat, and uh, you know, you, you, you gauge the height of your strut how how deep your strut is in the water with this gauge right here and um you know I, i've been doing it with like uh these foam blocks right here and it's been working all right you know but this this is going to make tuning much simpler and it takes a lot of the guesswork out for those of you who have the u19 or hydroplanes you know eight scale ten scale hydroplanes this is uh that's awesome so you guys go check out mad lizard products man um i actually just got an esc in for this boat right here no mad lizard didn't send this to me i got this from offshore electrics uh we're gonna be doing a full install i got this from offshore and uh i also got some carbon fiber we're gonna mount the esc with this is the ztw 200 we're gonna run this with the stock motor and then possibly, possibly throw this guy here on it, okay? This 2000 kV or 1950 kV. Shoot, I don't know. I think it's 1900 or 1950. I can't remember. But, um, yeah, this is the seal. So we'll be doing an install on this here shortly. All right, I got actually got quite a bit of new things coming to the channel. You know, uh, you know, new power. Uh, and, and what I like to do, you know, I, you know, I could have spent all the money I spent on all these parts for my boats. I could have spent all that money and got like a freaking TFL Pursuit or hell, I almost could have got a damn like TFL Zonda or something. But, you know, I really, I really like making the boats I have now uh, scream. You know, I like to get the most out of every boat I have. Uh, you know, instead of having like 30 boats that are barely hanging on by a freaking thread, you know, underpowered. I would rather have 15, you know, 10 or 15 boats that uh, scream, you know, and run and, and like to perfection. You know what I mean? And tune them to perfection or at least try to tune them to perfection. <laughs> so, uh, Ryan, dude, I appreciate it, man. And I actually uh, want to say thank you to all my subscribers. You guys have been amazing. You guys, all my subscribers have been amazing. Uh, thanks for all the support. Thank you for, you know, helping me with problems I've had with my boats. You know, uh, guys have you know thanked me for helping them with problems they have with their boat so you know you're welcome and um you know big shout out to my subscribers my viewers you guys have been fantastic period period so uh i appreciate the parts right definitely going to go to use we're going to be testing them out here shortly and i guess uh, i'm not gonna hold you guys up no more
back to the regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> trying to get it to where when I give it full trigger, it don't want to bob back and forth. Um, as it sits now, you kind of linear throttle, it's perfect. But, but as soon as you give it like a like a hard hard trigger, she wants to do that. Turning a boat, it takes time. It takes time to get a boat right. You know, you gotta put a lot of time in. Let's check the temps here. We'll let you guys go. We'll let you guys go. Wish I had an old GPS for it. No water in the boat. 98. 104. 121. She actually ran pretty good. Uh, I was kind of giving it hell watching it, you know, and um, it seemed like it liked a little bit more down trim than what I was running the other day. And uh, it definitely likes more of a linear throttle. Um, and kind of slow it down when you hit a wake other than that man she's running good she's running good we'll see you guys next time big b we're gonna clad rc